last time on Dong Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. And now, back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's been David Nate here, and looking back to hopefully the conclusion of the main game of Dung Europa. We're happy havoc. Last time we did the trial and we came towards the The murderer of Kusaba, the Jigoroshima. And we found out she was still alive in the mastermind. But. And she's a queen, apparently. What's up with that? Well. Let's. Find out, as I'm gonna have to sleep right now. If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world! Ooh. Only half? We've even drawn up the deed already! We will grant you honor, status, and some of our home cooking! Sounds like, sounds like a good deal to me. Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? No thanks. Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. Her voice got more serious there. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Got bigger cleavage than the Ashina, apparently. This is the mastermind? She's... Psycho bitch! Uh, but also the rules you in Asima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. Week after week. Week after week. It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Oh. Hug Curry's a stay near call. I'm like, oh, whatever. <coughs> Here's gone. Girls next to me now. Crazy girls next to me now. With wavy hair. Whatever. Your face. Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. Our chihuahuas were that cute. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. Searching your picture before it was Dash's room. Right school, in the hall. I got it. That's right. It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And you were on it. Just right, 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 right,
200 yen. 10 times 400 yen. Check out the latest dresses and fashions. May 5th. 40. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? Are you just lucky? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. Well, she didn't tell you anything in the main hall. <laughs> I see your untunted magazine covers, but I feel, I feel like that's a like much part with reality. Huh? Uh, are you talking about my magazine cover photos, Junk? Ah, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edit the hell and back, like, the computers and junk and all. Oh, so they aren't real? Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same, because she was a different person all along. I'm me, and Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best, but there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Wins. Twins! I know, it's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was... <laughs> Their personality has arrived. And together, we were the Despair Sisters, aka the Ultimate Despair! Whoa! She's a totally different person now! Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I even get fucking bored with myself! But if, if you're twins, why do you have different last names? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it bores me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. Either... Let's see. You changed your name to for your fashion, fashion career, or you have different fathers, the same the same mother in your twindom. Could be possible. Oh, there's no reason. your twin that means you killed your own sister and for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean ha! as if well I suppose I'd better explain and number four for my plan to work someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes the so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Doggy! Round, 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 round. There's... Mikuro, Sakura, Kiko's pointing. Uh, 
It looks like Junko's got both the Sheena and Hagakuri on their sides. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Mm -hmm. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. You gotta have the... Yeah, you gotta have that sto story, obvious story plot there. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? And number five! If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring! I'm Kuali now! So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point! In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Meep. What? Huh? This, this, what is it supposed to? Why, me? <laughs> so you figured it out? That's the short skirt. Well, you're right! There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance! But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? What? How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister! How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? Misunderstanding sure are scary. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectation. No, nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. I so cute and cuddly. Despair, cute and cuddly. Cute and cute like despair. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's 
not true at all. Number six. The Mushroom Junko. We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it gets me so excited. sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. There we go, spin around. Spin right, 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 round, right, round. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. That's right. She gets turned on by despair. What the hell is wrong with you? And my sister, too. In that moment of death. I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else? She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts! Even, even I think you're crazy, Mon. I, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the idiot! You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. Uh, yeah. That, yeah, that's what we're saying. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah. Master's way more perfect. Because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. That mean had that noble blood. What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! Number seven! You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are! Yap, yap, yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer! So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories! Then you can start gloating! Damn straight! That's exactly what we're going to do! We're going to solve all these mysteries. And then, we'll have our victory. Our hope-filled victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? Just tell us, so you, just tell us moms we can get on the story. Meep. When the group pictures were taken, and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance day exams! Don't dare! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges! All drippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint before! All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? 
Do you recall? Uh, exactly what the Makuma told us. The Marisa stole from us. They're delayed too. Most cross trials. I hope you guys make motives. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. And we're back, we've gone full circle now. I think that's all of them. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Okay. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? They had the, they had the weak thing. Uh, theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? <coughs> hmm. The motive I could give us the first murder was even connections. Love triangles! Relationships. I got it! <laughs> the driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Like my family. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. So, 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 I the other ones were. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! I'm Twally again! Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? The second motive was the past. The meaning of life. A strong heart. I got it! It was... Our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> That's right. Kyoko, I think Makoto... Uh... Mondo, Yufumi, uh, okay, that one's Habakure. Let's see. Chihiro. One of these are going to be Chihiro. Oh, but. Uh, uh, that one's. Oh, oh that one's Ayo. Aoi, Ashina, Aoi, 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 Ashina. That's Sakura. Okay, okay. Kyoko, Makoto, Sakura, Aoi. There, Ko. Oh, oh, Toko, Yakia, Mondo, Hifumi. No, I'll see Chiro on there anywhere. plan on dragging this out relax relax okay on to the next question so what was the motive for the third murder the rose a new outlook popularity read i got it it was money wasn't it greed seek and destroy hell yeah you got it again 
Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! A little cheddar cheddar, bling bling, a little dough, a little bucks. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Sweet cheeks, you like me? You really like me? Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Her first death was serious betrayal, blackmail. I got it! In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see. Back to the mushroom, Jinko. Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Mm, the earth is bending. Reality is warping. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? I'm Quali again! These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal, totally middle of the road! But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world! I'm the queen again! And she is mad. Her face, and her posture, and her fists. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. Wondrous despair. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. The seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. The line between this hope and despair is so paper thin. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. Please, 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 Takami, stay with, stay with me here. With the program. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Ashina confused. Ashina's confused. And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway. Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct the mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But 
but it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. More cookies. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Yeti slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? A hint? Awesome. Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. What TV screens are for? Outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? <laughs> I want to see too. See your faces sink into despair. Now then, open sesame! Oh, it's like a little teddy bear girl. Behold! The world beyond the school walls! Head bopping. This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. So, so anxious! Language. What the? What? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. What? What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw. All of you should recognize it. You should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing's insane! The world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. Cause we're gonna quiz you over the, Cause we're gonna quiz you over this later. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass. Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember. It ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class trial. Oh, now it's beginning. Master. Oh, boy. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but... What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can yeah. remember anything. This is the end for all of us. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Something. Oh, that they said that's already? Oh, but you split it. I was about to be split the pair. Spare it. It didn't. You. Of course it did. You got the helpless. It was three. It was really an idiot. Please. Bring it. Just bring your head. You know what time it is. Are you ready? It's one of the time. Please. Is this real? Over. I 
refuse to give up yet. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but... When it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Crap. Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice do we have? Oh crap. What about you got the one thing I remember? Does it really help with after all? Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for Crap. all of us. Yes, the... What other choice do we have? Come on, bitches! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing, I don't understand. What's the meaning of the foot? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember. Oh, crap. Ugh. Oh, that's a lot again. I refuse to give up yet. I got it. Alright, come on. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Oh crap. Is this another one of ah, whatever. I refuse to give up yet. Here we go again. Blah 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 angry ah scared very confused Come on bitches remember or die What the fuck happened outside You want us to read when it comes to that crate I don't understand What's the meaning of is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean you're telling us to remember but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end. God damn it! I was so close that there. What other choice do we have? I was so close that time. Come on, bitches! Remember what the fuck happened? You want us to when it comes to that crazy? I don't understand. What's the meaning of? Is this another one of your? I mean, you're telling us to remember. What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end of oh. for all of us. What other choice okay. do we have? Come on, oh, bitch. That's on purpose. I refuse to give up yet. Go again. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened after? You 
want us to re when it comes to that crazy I don't Bubba. understand what's the meaning is this another one of I mean you're, what am I supposed to be remembering if nobody can remember anything this is the end uh, for all of us oh I what still other choice I still, do we have uh, should've just I just did my chest too. Uh, that's the long one again. Is, is this? I refuse to give up yet. Yeah. Remember or die! What the fuck happened out there? You want us to re when it comes to that crate, I don't understand. What's the meaning? Is this another one of- I mean, you're telling us what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything. This is the end God of damn it. all of us. What other choice do we have? I, 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 was, I thought I had that time. Remember what the fuck happened? You want us to remember when it comes to that crazy co I don't understand it. What's the meaning of the foot? Is this another one of I mean, you're telling us to what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything, this is the end for all of us. Ah. He has false hope over and over again. We still love this thing over and over and over again. Another F on this trial, apparently. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but... <laughs> Turn to a dead channel! Oh, Russell, we got a trophy for this! Nobody can remember anything. This is the end God damn of it! all of us! What other choice do we... I got a trophy. I got, I got a trophy for mess. I got a trophy apparently for doing so badly. I refuse to give up yet. Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but... When it comes to that crazy con- I don't understand it! What's the meaning of it? Is this another one of your practical- I mean, you're telling us to remember, but... What am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything... Oh my god! This is the end for all of us! What other choice do we have? Uh, we didn't have bitches. that time. Remember or die! What the fuck happened? You want us to re when it comes to that crate, I don't understand. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything. Got it! No, it's wrong. She might remember. Oh god. Finally got it after what 20 minutes of that stuff. Who might remember? The other token. Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate. 
then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? Yeah. Go that and go crazy and kill Junko for us. Okay? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. This is that calm or straight face. <laughs> okay. It was nothing. T oh, it should go like battle the tongues. My tongue's better than my tongue's a little stronger. No, my tongue is. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um. Mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye, Roger, you got it, Captain. Captain Harvey, hurry. Nope, I'm moving that ship. Familiar? I don't have all the details, but of course it does. Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do. So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know. Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world! More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? A tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember! With a kiss! A French kiss with lots of tongue! Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made! Buddha, to Liberty, Sphinx, the Chinese thing I think. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster! Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! The protest. And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Moreau saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! 
Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Do not call her my lover. Jeez. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. How can the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. Calm down. Calm down. I need to panic. I want to take a deep breath. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Okay. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? Hm? It fell, it fell, it fell. As it fell. Correct! Well done, peasant! Peasant? That's my line, bitch. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated! What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! But hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right... It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Wait. What? Two years ago. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. 
So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Did you ever know what's going on, Hakukurai? Did you ever? Maybe even some even even I think I'm is confused. But still, we have to enter somehow. No, everything ends up ends right here. Torn from us. So it's true. We were skating two years ago. Two years ago. We're getting here for a few weeks or so. Too far. We're past the trap seat. I got it. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years' worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. I'm 23. That, that's <laughs> not possible. Well, I think that too. I don't want to believe it. But, but, that, but that's nothing but our desire. I don't believe. I want to be impossible. But it's the truth. We have to accept it. Just surreal. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted. People being raised. But two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years. Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just oh. surreal. Missed it. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! I got after this time again. Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. You've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything. Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! No, that's wrong. You're wrong! Again. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Hmm? Wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, 
Even more than that. This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt! But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing! No! No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. Hmm. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? Yep. And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Nice right before everyone's eyes. The world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? I'm, I said I'm bored, Hakakure. Did you listen? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. That's true. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! I'm hungry. What are you talking about? What is he talking about? I don't know, but find out next time because I'm hungry and I'm so much growing, I'm hungry right now. So, I'm gonna go back to eat. And until next time, we'll have the conclusion. Oh. You're so great, enjoy the randomness. Oh. It definitely includes next time. We messed up longer than I thought. Alright.